All right, we all know Muggsy Bogues, right? From Dunbar at five foot three, went to Wake and then on to the NBA. We have another petite point guard from Baltimore making his headway at UMBC with a couple of big games next couple of days. Sean Stepner caught up with him today and has more tonight. Sean? When UMBC is on the court, he's tough to miss. No, we're not talking about the tallest retriever. We're talking about the smallest, Darnell Rogers. Whoa, Darnell Rogers! Your eye is immediately drawn to number two. At five foot two, he's the shortest player in all of college basketball. The senior guard is averaging just under 10 points per game. You know, I feel like I'm a basketball player first. I don't feel like my height um, plays a part in what I can do on the court. I feel like I can do everything. The son of Baltimore's own Shantae Rogers, Darnell grew up in Baltimore before moving to France while his dad played pro ball in Europe. Darnell bounced around a few programs back in the U.S. before landing back at home at UMBC. I've never doubted myself. I've seen what I was able to do on a court, and I just stuck with that, really. He's never let his size become a negative for him. Or he's, he's always, always been a positive, and uh, you know, I think that's, that's what I love most. He's got no fear. You might think he's a magnet for trash talk at his height. Quite the opposite. He dishes it out with the best of them while the comebacks are rather played. They'll just be like, oh, you, you little, are you small? Rogers leads his retrievers into a huge pair of games tonight and tomorrow against Vermont. Both teams tied atop the America East standings at 9-3. and three. Definitely ready to put up, get two dubs Thursday and Friday. You know, we're right where we want to be, you know, heading down the stretch. And they control their own destiny as well. The America East has actually cut short its regular season, so these two games are it. With one win, either tonight or tomorrow, UMBC will clinch the number one seed in the conference tournament. Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.